Hello, great people. Welcome back to Global Happenings. Today, we're so excited to have you again. Would I say life is unfair to the CBN, former CBN governor, or should I say that the, his past is catching up on him? Well, you can choose what to believe there, but right now he's passing through real difficult times. And guess what? Um, even the presidency and every other person that knows him are quiet over what he is going true in DSS custody. On Thursday, something very interesting happened where he was dragged back to his own house again. And you'll be shocked what was discovered there. And I begin to wonder, why didn't he run away with all of that money in his house? Let me give you full details of what happened and the position of Nigerians in respect to the treatment meted out to him. Now, according to the news, not fewer than 18 Ghana must go bags containing money and documents have been carted away by operative of the Department of State Services from the resident of the suspended governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Godwin Emefele, Nigerian. It has been disclosed. It has also been gathered that the money and the documents were taken from the Lagos resident of Emefele on Friday afternoon after about a day-long search of the property. Emefele, who was arrested on June 10, by the DSS has spent eight days already in DSS custody. It was scooped that Emefele may spend longer than earlier reported in DSS custody as an investigation into his activities while in charge of the Apex Bank is far from being concluded. Has been further gathered that the DSS on Thursday secured a court order to detain the ex CBN chief for three weeks with another source hinting that he might be held for a longer time. Mefele was said to have been moved from the DSS custody in Abuja on Thursday and flown to Lagos where his house was searched by DSS operative. Upon conclusion of the search, about 18 Ghana must go back containing currencies and documents were said to have been carted away. The following day, Mefele was flown back to Abuja on Friday after afternoon with the bags and investigation have since resumed quizzing uh, especially about the findings the secret police was guarded have also launched a man's hunt for a methodist personal assistant in connection with the revelation from the ongoing investigation according to the source who spoke to one of the newspapers the source says that dss looked Emefele or took Emefele to his house in Lagos and on Thursday and returned him to Abuja on Friday afternoon. His house was searched. They took away about 18 bags, Ghana must go bags containing money and documents from the house. His personal assistant is on the run. The SS is on his trail. He is the key to unlocking a Mephiles asset and a well stash away within and outside the country. President Bolami Tinibu on Friday just suspended a Mephile as the CBN governor and ordered his probe following which he was arrested by the DSS for investigation. Wow, this is really interesting, I must say. And uh, guess what, Nigerians? have really been talking over this issue. Well, some people believe that what MFLA is going through is actually a repayment of the sufferings he made Nigerians to go through uh, during the period of the Naira redesign. Nigerians so suffered that time. Oh, I was part of the suffering. It wasn't easy. We, we found ourselves buying our own money. And, you know, interestingly, uh, that, same, um, the, that same money that we were suffering to get today is not even in circulation again you understand i'm talking about a new naira note i can't even see it again you realize that it's been taken by whoever and whatever but the truth is that it's not much in circulation nigerians suffered guess what people did die during that period it was one of the worst moments in this country I, i've never seen that moment before nigerians were buying their own monies 
with money. You go to the bank, you are treated as if you committed the greatest sin to ever bank. I mean, it was a terrible moment. Some people believe that whatever he's going through right now is well deserved. Let me just uh, share with you some of the comments of Nigeria. Someone said, so with all this fraud, the previous administration kept borrowing money to finance our budget. All of them must be prosecuted and recover and those funds back to the government. This one here says there's nothing so special about currencies in the house of governor of Central Bank whose signature is on the same currency. It is a different thing if the currency is found in the house of governor of a state or a politician who has no business with the currency but for purpose of money laundering check your president it's bullion van will contain money another person here said dss recovered and relutes efcc chairman is in detention now for relooting the money and property he recovered from thieves can we say thieves to thieves nigeria is bleeding Another person here says it is a good one for him to go through what he made Nigerians to go through. This man was heartless during that period and today he is passing through worse. Another person here says, wait, why some people are heartless? What is he going to do with this huge amount of money? Emifele needs to be dealt with publicly. Anything can happen to big man in Nigeria. Emefele should remember that he has wronged Nigeria or robbed Nigeria before. So it is a turn of Nigeria to rope him, but they shouldn't be a kangaroo style. This one here says, very good job, keep it up. But after Emefele, all others should also be dragged out so that we really see what had happened. Now, one of the most interesting things I must say here is that Emefele, uh, I don't know why he didn't do what other people did because um, I, right now, based on some of the findings that we have, most of the governors are not even in Nigeria again. They run as far as their leg could take them. So, so many of the ministers that are searching for them, they, they are no way to be found. But I, I know that Mifele did a lot, you know, and um, those things are still there, staring at the faces of Nigeria. But, but I, I think at this point, um, another focus should be that humanitarian the, uh, ministry. That ministry got so much money from Nigeria. Accountability is needed right now. However she dispenses all those money, that woman should be brought to book to explain how she spent huge amount of money and not even just her alone every other minister who had partook in you know raking nigeria to the level we are right now all of them should be dragged out some people are believing that ah the current god president doesn't have that right except he gives himself up to prove my brother uh, the truth is that uh, the lesser thief should be dealt with you know anybody who is at, at, at who is um, up there as much people as he can deal with to recover money for the running of the country. Please, they should do it. Nobody should hold them back because right now the country is going to through one of the worst times, especially when it comes to the issue of finances. Someone here says they have not seen anything yet. By the time they are finished with, they will understand what it means to allow Bala Blue to lead us. This one here say DSS or no DSS for let this man just help Nigeria with 89 trillion. He carried, I'm not saying stolen, no. He carry help, let him return what he took from Nigeria. And I you know that had also been, been my school of thought. Those who are taken so much from the country, they shouldn't just be treated anyhow. Pamper them. To the point that they can bring out those monies because those monies mean a lot to nigerians what we are going through today and what we are going to be going through in the nearest future if the person of bola Metinibu, the president of nigeria is not a strategic leader who can rule out possible solutions that would change the narrative of this country i must say um we are going to face more difficult time 
Reason being that already we know that uh, whatever funding that have been given to our budget was traceable to loans. How can you be borrowing loans to pay salary? How can you be borrowing loans to build roads? I mean, it's, it's, it's not reasonable at all. If the federal government borrow money, it should be to possibly invest, you know, or give it to uh, high-level investors who will invest and pay returns back to the government in one way or the other. But borrowing to pay salary, almost, it's a situation that must be arrested as much as well. And the, one of the major ways of arresting is to bring all the corrupt leaders to book. Let them give better explanation on how these monies were spent. CBN governor, I know that if there's anyone that knows um, details of how monies were spent in this country, he is the one. And right now, I pray for wisdom on the part of these people to just first of all, most importantly, dig out those things that are you know very important to us which is recovering the money another person here says look at this man haha <laughs> on that who are really administration now wow see what they have cost us this one here says is there anything untouchable and unquestionable a mefele all the bank charges went to a mefele account now it is time to stop anything charges from customers and all the money charged should be returned to our account. Omo, this is serious. Uh, this one said all the people that have been entrusted with the responsibility of steering the ship of the nation have criminal tendencies. Today, it's a Mephilist turn, but it is not the only criminal. It is good that the searchlight is turning on and on. After him, it will move to others. This is quite interesting. And I think that's where we would like to leave it. Go to our comment section. Let's interact.